to another tech talk, uh, John Array at John Array Tech. And tonight we'll be yep. uh, talking about all the exciting announcements coming out of the uh, recent CES convention, the Consumer Electronics Show that ran from 11th of January to the 14th. So went four days and I think, John, or did you catch all of that? Yeah. Like the show? They didn't time... catch every part of the show, but I right. picked a few stuff which I really liked a lot about CES and followed those. Because yes. this time, for the first time, I guess, there's no in-person attendance, right? Yes, that's correct. Because of this the whole time, COVID it was pandemic. completely all digital worldwide. So virtual. <laughs> so yep. normally, normally, who who's allowed to attend this? Is it just insiders or is it everybody? Uh, usually for going? CES, not everyone can go. It's usually more of those who would be doing a lot of reviews. Right, right. But I guess this time, because it's all virtual, <laughs> everyone yep. can actually see it. Yeah, which, that's which, which actually is, is actually a good thing, right, in that sense. Think about it like a Comic-Con for tech. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm thinking it's kind of like the San Diego Comic-Con where, you know, previously only like the industry insiders could go in and attend. Yeah. But it seems like uh, this time, you know, everyone can. So. <clears throat> yep. It's a Comic-Con for tech, but no, no one is really dressing up. <laughs> no cosplays, yeah? No cosplays, no. <laughs> Maybe um, a bit. Not much. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, so maybe we'll get on with the discussion then. Um, so, I guess what we'll be talking about are your, I guess, personal top picks for the highlights coming out of CES. Yep, so, obviously, top picks. this is kind of a bit subjective, but this is Jono's uh, personal top picks, yeah, coming out from uh, the, the show. Yep. So first off, we'll look at actually health this time around. Health. One thing which I found quite interesting was LG, which I would say was probably the best with the health aspects of CES. Yeah. They announced a lot of new purifiers, a lot of new gadgets. I'll just uh, share, share a little part with you from the LG newsroom. Okay. LG revolutionizes personal clean air with Puricare. Wearable air purifier. Looks like a face mask. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we're coming to now. It's like, really? A lot of stuff, even CES is going health. And a lot of them is like healthcare, like face masks. Yeah. Face mask has become something like a, I don't know, like a fashion accessory or something. Yeah. This one is like a what purifier. So what does it actually do? Apparently it purifies the air around you. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm not a health expert, so I can't really <laughs> talk too much about it. So I guess it's, it's I, really interesting how CES is moving a lot of stuff to health because of the situation that we're well, in. Well, I mean, right it's not, not surprising, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's on everybody's mind. Yeah, um, but let's see what this actually says. It says... Yep. Air purifier allows users to take in clean air, filtered air, while the respiratory sensor detects the cycle and volume of the wearer's breath and adjusts the dual three-speed fans accordingly. Well, that means I don't really know because I'm not a health expert. <laughs> Maybe Sunny, does Sunny know anything about health? <laughs> mm, not really, but <laughs> is that uh, reusable ones? Or... Yeah, it, it apparently like it has filters. Uh, well, it says uh, it, the battery offers up to eight hours of operation in low mo uh, mode and two yeah. hours on high. <clears throat> so you got battery? Yeah, it, it has like a battery. Battery as well. Oh. <clears throat> which I find like really funny and yeah that's it from LG there were other pure 
care stuff that were there as well, but this was the standout, I think. They yeah. also announced a lot of in-home air purifiers, which are also available that you could already buy because LG Curie Care has been around for a while, oh, not just okay. during this pandemic. But this is probably one of their first on the face face mask oh. purifier. Oh right, so the same previous ones they did they, they were not like masks. It was something else. Yeah. Yeah. But interestingly enough, talking about health as well, the company gaming company Razer came up with something super interesting. Health related stuff? Correct, which is why we're showing this now. Razor. Razor. Oh wow. It's called a, the world's smartest mask. Yeah. So <laughs> Razor, a gaming company, came yeah. out with a face mask wow. as well. Wow. A gaming company. So what? Why is it smart? Well, apparently the front part is an acrylic glass. So people could actually see you speaking. Oh right, so it's, it doesn't cover your like as in people can actually see see your yeah, nose. They could actually see you talking. Your mouth. So it's sort of like people can start to lip read you again instead of just seeing just the black thing right in front. Oh. And the interesting thing is those little filters on the side. Yeah. They are RGB. It can change color. I see. So, so what we're seeing is the green, right? So you're saying it can change to blue and red. Yep, that is correct. And according not only to what? that. Yep. Not according only to that, what? It's also a speaker. It, so it actually speaker? projects your voice. I see. Oh. <laughs> but I guess so when you, I think when you what they're going at different colors. So does it change color? I guess depending on what, on. Uh, on... Uh, that's actually a good question. I haven't thought of that. I thought it just changes color. It's just like a strobing effect. Oh, I thought it's it might change color depending on how the loudness of of your voice or something. <laughs> mm, that is possible. I didn't see that aspect of it because this is still a project from Razer. It's not a product that might come out soon. Probably yeah. more mid-year or end of this year. But would it come out in time? Are we getting this or what? Sorry, what? Are we getting this in Australia? Oh yeah, is this worldwide or? Or just US or something? It's worldwide. Oh. Uh, uh, probably US first or something. Maybe. Probably US first. Yeah. But this is still a project, so maybe expect it mid this year end of the year possibly is that so, is there still a um concept conceptual thing or is this actually already made right, it's a concept yeah. so it, oh, it's only concept oh, yeah. okay which is why it's called project hazel it's a project name oh so it's oh okay i guess the stuff in in ces so not not everything is a concept, not everything right? is con complete conceptual. yet there no. or so, well some things may be com like further to completion and others some yes that show up yeah. their complete lineup but a lot of ces is also usually a lot of concepts and a lot yeah. of things that may not come into market as of yet yeah I this see. one this one i mean kind of looks like a, a sci-fi high-tech face mask yeah i thought <laughs> so too right can you yeah. change can you change field is that a filter can you change the filter the filter that is something which i'm not too sure because in terms of the lg one the filter goes like right in front of the mouth this one it seems like you're seeing the whole front part so where does the filter go uh maybe the two side I don't know. maybe the two sides but those are also doubling up as a like a microphone projector to project your voice and oh. an rgb controller Oh, I, th I thought you can change filters, that's all. Mm. Yeah, maybe there is some part of it, but since this is still in the pre-production stage, 
they actually might be a filter, but we can't really exactly see it. Maybe it's like at the bottom here somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. It's just a concept, right? They could add more stuff if they want want to. Yep, but what I'm worried about is, will they release it in time? In time for what? <laughs> oh, you you mean you mean before when the, the end of COVID? Yeah, right. Well, they. Oh, well, it depends on because it's still pretty bad in the US. But it's yeah, they're right. Like, what if the vaccine comes out? Before? But you can use. But remember, you can use masks for anything. It's not just for COVID as well. So. Yeah, that's true. Like that's a true, lot of construction although... workers. Yeah, you can. One. Any, anything pretty much. Yeah, but then they wouldn't be using this full gaming one. <laughs> oh. It's a gaming mask, yeah. Yeah, it's a gaming face mask from Razer. I mean, why why do you need a a face mask when you're gaming though? Unless. Yep. <laughs> oh, you know what? You you know the paintball. You know when what? you go to paintball. Pin and paintball. Oh, paintball, paintball. paintballing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that actually you, might be a good use case. Yeah, true way. Eh? Mask and put paint and go to paintball if, when we allowed. Then yeah. put the on and protect your eyes. I don't know. And then it got a speaker as well. <laughs> and that you can your voice. Paint, paintball. So I don't know. <laughs> well, you, like like on the screen, you can have the white team and the black team. Yeah. Something yeah, like because that. the RGB can maybe say what team you're on. Yeah, it's not a bad use case actually. Not a bad use case. Maybe we, we as a discussional could say, yeah, but this is a good use <laughs> case. That's right. You heard it here first, folks, from Sunny. And yeah. and you know those glasses mm. that, that you can you know it's um when you do paintball those glasses quite strong, you can yeah. make those glasses much stronger so you can actually um durable to the paint. You know when you when you play mm. paintball and someone shoots you, oh yeah, it hits your glasses. Yeah, and it filters and also. Protect your eyes. Yeah, it has to be strong. Yeah. Sure. Well, I have seen some concepts where the top part they could have like a mag magnetic attachment. Oh. oh yeah. For like uh, eyeglasses. Oh yeah. Which might be an idea as well. So. Or even might like they put some virtual thing. virtual glass inside. I don't know. <laughs> virtual VR maybe. Yeah, VR. <laughs> Just install VRs somewhere yeah. in there. That would actually be cool. And it protects you from whatever. <laughs> yep. As well from Razer, Razer did also announce their own, I think it was only about two two or three new laptops this year, which oh. were only updates from the previous generation. So it's not something too new. So I did not really include it in the top of my list for Best of CES. Oh, we've got, a, a, we've yeah. got someone just joined. Ch Charles? Charles Lee. Yeah. Gaming with HDMI 2.1 could push quality of gaming to up to 4K 120 FPS. Uh -huh. But not all games can support 120 FPS at 4K. So yeah. a lot of them still just support the 60 face display. FPS. Yeah. I heard I heard something from online not long ago. They support it. They you know Nintendo Switch. They um having I think that's rumors coming out for Nintendo Switch Pro supporting 4K. I don't know if that's true or not though. So that Nintendo is possible. That's been in the rumor mill for quite a while. I know. It's like it's like so, I think this uh, this year or something. Yeah. Mm. Is Nintendo going to try to catch up with the hardware power in regards to PS4 and Xbox? Yeah, yeah. so being a portable switch, portable or something. But here's the thing about this whole upscaling thing. Yeah. If you're playing at 4K and then you're using the TV with the 8K upscaler, yeah. it doesn't matter if your original content is 4K, you're effectively playing in 8K with the upscaler. Yeah, it, yeah. Um, handheld handheld 4k i don't know whether that works or not handheld handheld gaming 4k <laughs> well handheld gaming in 4k but but actually display on the upscale 8k on tv that is possible <laughs> but considering I'm... that 4k displays on phones never really worked out well sony did one but 
then it used too much power, so 8K is not unfair. But I mean, how big would your screen would have to be to truly appreciate 8K, right? I mean, it has to be humongous. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't really see, can you? Like, the difference between a 4K screen and an 8K screen? You can't and, even yep. see a difference between 1080p and 4K nowadays. You, you really, really need to be very... Well, yep, if it's a huge gaming, screen... Maybe. 1080p but, still is a good size for gaming because that's the one way you could get the most hertz out of. Yeah. yeah. Like, how much hertz? 360 hertz? 240 hertz? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, with 4K, they've reached about... Uh, I think they've reached 240 hertz, but still 1080p is like 360 hertz. I see. And they're still improving that even more. Yep, uh, what's next? We got Samsung's announcement. S21. S the S21 was announced later. We'll just get new big screens from Samsung, LG, Sony, and TCL. So no Panasonic. <laughs> well, Panasonic did still be in TV these days, well. Panasonic? Well, that's what... Well, Panasonic still does, yes. But but obviously, they're not the highlights in this article. Yeah. Because about... they're doing it a different way. Okay. Because uh, Panasonic seems to work more on just the projector style. How did my thing just completely go green? Yeah, what yeah, it's <laughs> green. What the... What's happening? Have you been to time zone re recently? They have this holographic uh, screen where you can see the screen dollar in the bubble. Yeah, oh, that's, that's better. So the... Ne uh, Neo Q LED displays. Neo Q QLED, all right. What's it, what what mini mini LED powered? Yeah. So essentially, each individual LED is so tiny, and it can either be completely on or completely off. So if you think about it, the black is just a pixel that's been turned off. Oh, your screen went green again. Hmm, interesting. Hang on, maybe let's see if I can share. All right. How we can so a lot this? of this one is a lot of brightness stuff, like brightness related new OLED type technologies, and they're all competing with each other. Okay, so so you were explaining what the mini LED is all about. Yep. So that means it's like a even truer black than what you could think was black. All oh, right. More vivid blacks. <laughs> yeah, completely vivid. Really bright displays now as well. Okay. And LED uses actually far less power than what you might think about traditional LCDs. Right. But now the thing that uses a lot of power are these processors that are backing these displays. All right. Because even Samsung has its own display as well, which has been ridiculous. Like, I didn't really like too much of Sony's... I mean, I really don't like too much of Samsung's processors. Some of them tend to be good, but their processor division, like the Samsung Exynos processors, I kind of think are kind of duds. I don't like Samsung for doing that. Does Samsung do the upscale as well? Yeah, they do yeah. the upscale as well. They so, all so, so kind of have so their own upscale. It. Yeah. So, wow. So, Samsung, LG, Sony, TCL. Yep, and TCL now has one of the biggest displays of 85 inches with this type of technology. Right. So, do you guys like the curved TVs? The curved TVs? Which one of these are curves? Are they, or are they curves ones? None of them. Or oh, none of them? They're not curved. Yeah, the problem is... Uh, Curved screens can be more immersive, but that's if you're actually closer to the display. Oh, right, right. These, these are more big like... big screens are yeah. not really meant to be watched too close up. Yeah. So yeah. a curved TV doesn't really make too much sense. Curved monitors 
for gaming does make actually more sense. Uh, I wonder right. if they have the monitor where you, if you, it's similar to VR, when you move the monitor, you actually move the, a position into your, into another set, you can move the photo around. So they can't. Hmm. Like a VR screen. Oh, like a VR yeah. screen, yeah. Like a yeah. VR, not really for a TV or a monitor. Well, there are some scorpion type chairs where you can actually sit in like a chair and there's the whole monitor right around you. Those are really expensive. Yeah. Like so what PS except PS5 power stuff. <laughs> so what exactly is the difference between OLED and ultra 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 um, LED? Is that is always the same thing? It's practically the same thing, but made smaller. Oh, LED smaller or ultra LED smaller? The Q LEDs are oh, Q, Q smaller, LED. yes. Oh, much finer, much smaller. Oh, okay. Much finer, much smaller. Think about it like the pixels, how many pixels there are. Think yeah. of each individual mini LED as one pixel. Oh. So if the display is as a resolution of like 8k how many pixels are there hmm. and that's actually a crazy amount of pixels so this so any any highlights that you want to point out from uh samsung lg sony and tcl it effectively uh i would say that for this google tv is making a comeback Best seller TV. Roku could face increased competition in the form of Google TV. Yeah, because Roku used a version of Android. My Google Assistant did a activated. <laughs> Just when we're talking about Google. <laughs> yeah, then, that's why I think using probably the hot picked word up, pick, Google. Picked up what we were saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a bit awkward. <laughs> But Google TV, yes, it's making a comeback. Or Android TV, but now they've renamed it Google TV again. It actually used to be called Google TV from the beginning. Yeah. And then it was renamed Android TV for quite a while. And now the Google TV name is back. Right, After so... effectively the Google TV was canceled and replaced with Android TV. So it went from Google to Android and now back to Google. Yeah, a bit confusing, a bit annoying, but they can't really completely make a decision. But yeah, the newest uh, Chromecast is the Google TV. I mean, Chrome, the Chromecast with Google TV. Yeah. Australian price is $99. Oh, and you get a little remote with it. Cool. So effectively, you have like something like an Apple TV. They could just plug into any display for 99 bucks and you could play movies you could watch tv shows you could talk to it everything that you could think of like as like a phone but on a big screen we don't have any pictures of that do we uh, oh, not yet well essentially the we have talked about it in the past so they could actually look it up during our last pixel talk ah oh, i see i see yeah because we did talk about with the launch of the Pixel 5. Yeah. So, but I mean, so what's new then if it's already available? It's, it's just saying. It's just making a comeback. It's gone yeah. a lot better than what was predicted. I see. Okay. Because <laughs> Android TV was like slowing down a lot. And when Google TV comes up, yeah, it's a really good price. Yeah. Is what's the other device which was really good that everyone got, which had an Android TV variant? That was actually the NVIDIA Shield TV, and that costs about $280 Australian. Is this the one? <clears throat> Google Chromecast? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. But if you think about it, it's $100 compared to nearly $300 worth. So it's a lot better to get google tv on the chromecast then getting a dedicated nvidia shield tv 
with that which has Android TV. Right, right. And since it's coming from Google, you get the yeah, it's <coughs> getting it straight from straight from the source, yeah. So correct, yeah, completely coming straight from the source. Mm. All right, so that's it for TVs. Shall we move to yep, the next? Yep, the next thing we will be talking about is going to phones now. Okay, phones. Phones. So we got this one here. This from. Uh, this is an LG. LG. Phone. But it's at the phone. moment, yeah. The one on the right looks more like screen. a tablet to me. It's actually the same phone. It's That's the same phone. Screen. Yep. It's bigger screen. A, it's a rollable display. Rollable. Yep. So, the, so, so you're saying that the two we see on the screen are the same device? Yes, it right. is. So, if you see here, these are ah. like two inlets. So these, you can actually those things actually retract. Oh wow. Retractable so that phone. one display is a rollable <laughs> display. Mm. So that is actually the same exact thing. Retractable, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> so instead of, you know, we've, we've, already, we've already got foldable phones. So this is like... Yep, like a clamshell design or ones like the <clears throat> Galaxy Z Fold 2. Yeah. This is a new idea of doing it. It's still a concept though. Oh, it's a concept. It's... Yeah, yeah. So they don't have a real... <laughs> Thing, uh, on display yet yeah well they do but they it's do. still a prototype they didn't let anyone test it ah okay they only showed it off a bit during the lg announcement is there a video of it or do you just have uh, uh there is a video of it like, to show the retraction Smartphones are back in the news courtesy of LG who at their consumer electronic event revealed the very first look at their version of a rollable smartphone called LG Rollable. I said their version because Oppo has already revealed the Oppo Whoa, Find X 2021 which is also a rollable <laughs> smartphone but it seems LG will beat Oppo to the punch and becomes the first company to launch a commercially available rollable smartphone to the market. As I mentioned Oppo. <laughs> With their rollable display as well. Mention Oppo it. tends to oh, Oppo. push. Oppo. Yeah, the brand of Oppo is actually a Chinese brand. Yeah, yeah. They release so many phones a year; it's absolutely ridiculous. So, in terms of continuity with their Android versions and everything, I don't really trust Oppo to be up to date with any software or updates. Sometimes they are; it's just that they're really slow. So I think yeah. it's best to get it from like an official source like Samsung or LG where the updates are actually more prompt and more secure. Right, right. So you you, you don't trust Oppo that much, it sounds like. Yeah, not too much. <laughs> but since we're talking about phones, even though it's not completely part of CES. Oh yes, the Samsung, yeah. Samsung S21, is it? Yes, the S twenty one, the which which also had a an announcement recently. Yep, they just had their announcements just today, actually. Oh, today! So, like, I, I remember you were staying out really late or something at yeah. two a.m. <laughs> there it is. Oh wow, S twenty one, S twenty one plus, and the S twenty one Ultra. Yeah, really big phones. Well, is that five cameras for the Ultra? No, it's actually just four. Four, four. One of okay. them is a one of them is actually a flash, or one oh, of them okay, is more okay, for okay. depth. So yeah, not exactly a camera, mm -hmm. but I must say I didn't really like this design too much. It makes it a bit more flush and I guess a lot better than Apple's version where the whole camera module sticks out like a crazy sore thumb. Massive yeah. like sore thumb. But this one is actually yeah, a I mean... bit more flush. It's still a bit raised still, but it's, yeah, yeah. it's a lot better than flushed. But the thing about it is they removed the micro SD slots. What? So you can't have expendable memory, what? No expandable memory at all on wow. the S21 at all. That's like sounds like a step backwards. 
<laughs> but considering that the highest uh, storage option is 512 gigs, it yeah, may or it's... may not be a deal breaker. True, true. But I mean, the thing is, maybe people may need time to get used to that because they've always been used to being able to put, you know, SD yeah. cards in. But I have <laughs> been getting annoyed at Samsung time and time again recently, even during the last announcements that we talked about, even with the Notes series. Yeah. Like, how much did I like the Note 20 series? <laughs> like, kind yeah. of like, yeah. No way. The only good one there was the Note 20 Ultra. And considering now, they released the S lineup, and you have an optional S Pen. A what? A pen? Yeah. Like, uh, the Note series is the staple of having the... Samsung S Pen. Oh. Now the S21 Ultra also is capable of having an S Pen. Wow. Like, why? Like, See, why, yeah, why do you need a pen? They could have left it with the Note series, but now it seems like maybe they just want to have one range of S series. Maybe. So yeah. will we actually get a Note series this year if the Ultra has oh. it? So maybe they are trying to consolidate everything, yeah, into one. Maybe. But mm. the black on this i on the S21 Ultra. Look at that. Yeah, the col colors ended up being a bit more pastel. Oh, look at that. This is uh what do they call a phantom violet, a phantom silver and the phantom black yeah the phantom black was the more interesting one because they actually made the black even blacker than well that's why they black. call it the phantom black <laughs> the other colors kind of looks a bit more pastel like if you like those like really candy like pastel yeah, colors yeah 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 very candy yeah those can be okay uh, i don't tend to like them so much oh okay video yeah, 8K video has been around for a little while now. For phones? Yeah. It looks like frameless as well. Frameless? It nearly, looks like yeah, nearly. Nearly frameless. Yeah. The top part Kinda. is actually thinner. If The bottom part is slightly thicker than the top. True. Yeah. Okay. But the whole punch camera definitely is a lot slimmer now. But yeah, it's quite interesting a lot of megapixels again yeah well, okay night mode i'm trying to look for the pen thing <laughs> where's the pen <laughs> what's the price oh yeah the prices are now officially up yeah, on really samsung yep yeah. they are you can get the newest uh, galaxy buds pro with pre-order if you wanted to and another thing about the S21 is it no longer as well carries a power brick. If you power thought brick. Apple was the only one, Samsung has now joined the party. No more what power brick. Sir? The power adapter is power, gone. Power. Oh. oh, the power adapter. Yeah. Yeah. So they kind of assume that uh, you already have your own power adapter already at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think for Android is more fine because usually it's just a USB-C to USB-C adapter or a USB-C to, to a USB type A port. But if you're looking at the iPhones one where they have Completely. a USB type C to a lightning adapter not everyone would have the standard power brick for the usb type c so it's like really difficult to say for iphones doing it to any other brand doing it because there are far more adapters and cables for all the other brands except yeah, apple's yeah. one because yeah, apple is more exclusive, exclusive to them. yeah hey, it's really interesting that the color wise um, pink is only available for the S21. S21 5G, yeah. And then violet is only available 
well, violet's available for both. Yeah. But for the ultra, there's only black. Only two colors. And silver. <laughs> so 5G as well. Huh? Apparently. Really what? big. So 5G. All 5G, yes. It's all 5G it's all now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 5G screens. Yeah. And all uh, 120 hertz panels. Shit, there's a titanium too. Wow. Titanium and navy. Anyway, it, it doesn't mention in the pen though. I'm trying to look for the pin. I realize the love yeah, of the new. It would be in the accessories because it's an optional accessory only for the Ultra. Interesting. A lot of the new phones now go back to the squarish shape now, not the curved one now. Well, many, the many Ultra go... still is a bit curved, yeah. A little bit curved, yeah. But yeah, not... a little bit curved. But, but yeah, it looks more like square corners to me. Even even like iPhones now, the newer ones, I think you go back to the basic, like the square type now. Yeah, more square, like the, more like, flat, oh. yeah. But yeah. yeah, the update from Samsung that says, well, one more thing is probably what I would say was the best of CES. Oh yeah, what's the best of CES? Is actually a company which I really like a lot. ROG. Uh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Seeing right. that you are you are sitting on a is that an ROG chair? No, this is a DX racer. Oh okay. Anyway, but I know you've got a lot of ROG stuff, including that's your a, phone. Yeah. Hmm. Here is something which we got here. Can you see the screen? Ah, uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Virtual this reality. is probably one of the craziest things that any brand has done during CES. They created a virtual convention. A virtual convention? Covid. Yeah. So this one, you, you can mean, actually move around. Oh wow, so you can actually go in and explore the uh, convention yeah. floor. You could explore the convention floor, you could look at all the new laptops. It's like then, it's like playing a video game to be honest. You're just in a except yeah, it's that practically set up like a video game. Okay, so no worries about social distancing, no mask. Yeah, no <laughs> mask. You you can actually be in the same virtual room as other people. Yeah. And here as well, let's say let's look at this laptop here. Probably one of the best looking laptops in the series. Look at that. Hello. And you could move it around, have a look at all. Wow, it's almost like you're the there. Right? <laughs> that means if, if, if anyone wants to come into this virtual room, virtual conference, uh, they don't have to worry about breaking any rules because you can't break any rules. <laughs> yeah, you can break rules. Yeah. You can't break rules. You don't have to wear masks. If you cough, no one's going to get scared. There. And the screen keeps oh. going green. I have no idea why. What happens if you want to bump in? I mean, you can even bump into other spectators and not worry about it, right? That's well, true. this one, you're in your own space. So oh, there's, but... no, there's no like, public virtual uh, yeah. convention floor. But this one at least now is upgraded to the latest of the best of the best AMD Ryzen graphics. I oh. mean, processor. And so an NVIDIA is... GTX, RTX 3080 series. Maybe but it's not a 3090, like a but it's something which is really hard to get right now. Okay. And as well, 4K. 4K so is this, would this be the high-end, top-of-the-line gaming laptop? Yep, this is the top-of-the-line one. Yeah. You can play, uh, you can play, it's smaller than PS4. It's got a lot smaller. <laughs> because this is actually a laptop. Cooling? Cooling, yes. Nitrogen cooling? Nope. But it has really good cooling because on the side, as you can see, that part is raised and the air can flow through there. Let's oh. see if we got. There's a little mission. Ah, oh, there we go. That was an airflow. Oh, he went green again. Ah, uh, come on. That's a bit annoying. There's probably something wrong on my end that's going green. But it only turns up every time it changes a bit. 
But yeah, if you look at the airflow, the blue is the cool air, the red part is the hot air. Oh. So oh, that, yeah. Yeah. Wow. that sort of design is really good. It's probably one of the best laptops they've created. Plus a dual screen. What's the, the other screen? Oh, right. Actually, it's just sitting there above the keyboard. On yeah. dual screen. Oh. It's like yep. it, it looks like a, a translucent screen. <laughs> no, it's not translucent. It's Cause... a proper screen. There have been other versions of this one, but since that the previous versions were so popular already, they released an even newer version. So now this one is the latest version of the Duo series. Oh. But yeah, this this is absolutely crazy. A virtual pan, a virtual convention. Yeah, but you're the only one. In yeah, the you're room. the only one here, but you also have like <laughs> Omni here, the little guy from ROG. It's like a little pet. Oh, it's like your 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 guy, yeah. Yeah, convention guy. Guide. Yeah. Yeah, tour guy. Hmm. But here as well, a lot of new monitors, really cool oh, monitors. Wow. Keyboards, keyboards, headphones, headphones, new router, ROG Gaming Frame 3. Yeah. ROG Frame 3. In the controller, <laughs> eh? Yeah. yeah. No security but, required. But effectively, this convention, anyone could get hold of. It's on Steam, it's called ROG Citadel 15 or XV. Yeah. So it's not just for, you know. In, in industry insiders. Yeah, so anyone could have it. Have a look at it. There's even videos here. Oh wow! Yeah, but people could look at it themselves. Yeah. But yeah, this. I must say, what a yeah. way of creating a personal space for a convention by creating your own space. That's probably yeah. why I would call this the best of CES. So you call this the, the best CES experience? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, that was probably my list of the best of CES. Other people would have their own lists. This would be mine. Yeah, this is a pretty good list. We, you know, we've, we've gone over health stuff. We've gone over, uh, you know, screen TV, the LED screen. Oh, not LED. Yeah, LED screens, phones, yeah. Yep. And probably one of the best gaming brands worldwide. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Really awesome work for CES. They have to make a lot of other announcements, including like progress on flying cars. Flying cars? Maybe we can talk a little bit about that. Or is that uh, just more concept? Sounds more like concept. Yeah, it's still a lot of concepts, so there's still quite a lot of new concept stuff around, but they are around. Mercedes have been doing their own concepts for a flying car. Really interesting, a lot of other brands. Apparently Tesla wasn't there. So no industry. I, if they, if I think they have... tend to do their own thing. Ah, oh, right, their own show, yeah. Uh, flying vehicles and tech from CES 2021. Wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely crazy. <laughs> Definitely looks very sci fi. <laughs> yep. The General Motors had this whole thing at CES as well, which they announced a lot of new ways of even augmented reality for display in front of your vision. So yeah, a lot of stuff and a lot of new drones. Oh yeah, Charles was talking about drones. Sony Airpick drone. Yeah. I do like drones, but it's not something that I follow too much of, so it didn't really make my list. Oh look at this, we talked about some of this, uh, but this is CNET's list <laughs> of cool yeah. gadgets. That's actually oh. an idea. Let's see someone else's list. Yeah, let's see, list. let's see what they've come up with. So the Air LG rollable phone, which we talked about. Yep, that made my list. TCL's possible rollable phone. 
So this is another. Yeah, did, that did not make my list because that's way too much of a concept. Yeah, I mean, look at this. It's, it's huge. Yeah. It doesn't even look real on the screen. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Ultraviolet light. Could kill the coronavirus in cars. Yeah, there are a lot of like UV cleaners around now. It's UV a bit cleaners. ridiculous. They've been UV cleaners for phones as well. Samsung is back with a frame TV. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. It's like a picture frame. Yeah, the frame has been around for a while, so it wasn't exactly new. They have made improvements to it, but yeah, it's not really completely new. Wireless phone charger. What's what's so cool about this? I thought we have this already yeah it's been around for a while well it says it's, it's not just any wireless charger there's moving coils to fit your phone better <laughs> anyway. yeah i guess that sort yeah. of makes sense since effectively whenever you place the phone you might not find the right spots to charge it properly yeah so it's like a bit of fiddling to find the correct uh, okay, charging okay, spot okay. so okay. that kind of makes sense MPS shower power. Yeah, that was something that I was interested in, so I actually have it backed on Kickstarter. It's a Bluetooth shower speaker that's powered by water. Yeah, that's actually an interesting thing. I actually might test it out myself. <laughs> and this is something I still didn't maker. make my CES list there. So, I see this is cool an ice cream maker. You should get one. <laughs> uh, maybe not. I didn't really make ice cream. Well, next time we go come but, over, we can have screen. I, I think that there was one time they tested a machine that tried to create smell, but they have, I don't think it's been a successful technology. Create what? Snow? Smell. Smell? Smell. Doesn't smell. smell. Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so if you want to smell chocolate, the machine can smell chocolate. But the thing is, that you cannot create smell without ingredients. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, that's not feasible technology. And it's not, it's not like a speaker where you can create a sound and then it'll, and it'll have an output, but you input the cho the smell of chocolate, it's not, computer can't do that yet. Yeah. 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 That's something which might not actually be possible. But Infinity maybe. Game Table, what's this? Classic World Games touchscreen treatment. So no more game pieces or instructions. Oh, but yeah. they use. Well, I, I mean, I we, 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 like to, to yeah. we like to feel the thing in our hands. Yeah. For <laughs> me, I'd like to feel the actual cards and stuff while playing. So yeah. that's probably not everyone's idea of Although gaming. Some people might say, oh, you know, less messy and you won't lose pieces. Yeah, well, that's exactly what they say. No more game pieces to lose. But then it's not as immersive. Like, yeah, yeah. Big yeah, games. You need the like... tactile. Tactile touch like we even played a game called here to slay how big was that game we filled up the entire yeah table. yeah i mean that was that would definitely be more fun with the real you know thing in your hands yeah it's a lot more fun when you actually feel the pieces feel and the play pieces. with it yeah so something like this i probably would not want to get yeah because it's just not the same samsung's new robots Ooh, look at that this is, yeah. uh, what's that? Uh, <laughs> a dishwasher robot, looks like. Yeah, it's uh, Samsung's Butler robot. So I actually did mention it, but I didn't find a good picture in time. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Help clean your house, be your PA, and as a security camera. Yeah. It's an idea. The Thunderbolt deck, dock. Uh, oh, oh, it's just a charge. Uh, what? Three open ports? USB-C. Well, Thunderbolt 4 is effectively slightly newer because we only recently got Thunderbolt 3. Oh, yes. But that's also trying to go off the new USB 4.0 subset. Oh, well, here's some, some health, the newer smartwatches, health features. Vital yeah, site yeah. for blood pressure monitoring, maybe. Yeah, as you can see, there are a mm. lot of new health stuff. Oh, yeah. Aesthetic refrigerators. Okay, <laughs> cute. It's just more the aesthetics, I guess. 
Yeah, I didn't really go into a lot of this stuff. Auto box gaming accessories, jet mirror. A video screen box. under your rear view mirror's glass. Actually, I did have something like that before as my video camera. It ended up failing. <laughs> but this might be a newer, improved version of that. Yeah, it's kind of um, like a dash cam, but... Um, yeah, because I actually did have something like that as a dash cam. Yeah, right. But it ended up dying after about a year. It broke because apparently the battery died. Because oh. it kind of... Because these things have batteries, you have to get the right battery that isn't affected to heat as much. Mm. And the one I got, the battery kind of expanded, so it kind of failed on its own. Right, right, right. Because uh, lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries, if there's too much heat, the battery will die yeah. a lot more. Quickly, yeah. Quickly, yes. This, is this the laptop that, no, no, it's different from the one you, you looked at. Yeah, that's a different one, but effectively Asus announced effectively six new laptops. Oh, uh, okay. Six. This is, this apparently is lightweight. It's called a Flow X13. Yeah, I probably won't get that one because it it's not a cell that I like because it's slim mm. and gamers don't really like slim. But this <laughs> thing like... has an external <laughs> GPU. External That's, GPU, what is Yeah, but then it's like separate from the actual... It's separate from the actual... Laptop. Laptop. Oh, wow. So you have to carry the X, X GPU with you as well. Yes, that is not really completely ideal, I guess. Mm. Next gen glasses. Yeah, uh, yeah, we talked about uh, next yeah, gen did. glasses before with like this the is AR a stuff. New Vivo Six Micro LED smart glasses. Got a projector yeah. the size of a pencil eraser built right in. Projector. Yeah, a lot of them are like really small. Hmm. Oh, what's but this? this one I'm not too sure about. I probably prefer to see Google's iteration of their one since they have Google Glass, yeah. Yeah. They acquired that brand. This disinfecting robots. Well <laughs> I guess we need to have those now in <laughs> I, those things we probably can't buy. Yeah. This thing is probably going to be for businesses. Mm. Restaurants. Or schools. Schools. Restaurants, yeah. yeah. Shopping centers. Business to business, yeah. Hearing a yeah, wow. as what you can see here, CES practically has almost everything being announced. Everything under the sun, wow. Oh, yeah, from cars this... to even fashion. Air taxi. To cars. Toys. Yeah. Well, air... <laughs> air taxi, they call it the Cadillac Eve. Ver vertical takeoff and landing. Uh, air yeah. taxi. That's oh, the another scar. laptop. How about electric bicycles? Have you guys explored that? <laughs> yeah, there were more electric bicycles at CES. Electric bikes? Okay. It's practically everything under the sun that you can Ooh, think of this has one. been announced. This is the CES. one that, that you looked at, right? Yep, Project Hazel. Yeah, Razor, Project so Hazel. They got new mask that, that makes it easy for you to breathe, I guess. But there's well, no oxygen it's... in those. This one has active ventilation and auto sterilization. So maybe it doesn't need a filter. Yeah. And yeah. A UV sterilizer too. But they're too expensive. Uh, the only problem which I think about UV is if you look at a lot of guidelines for UV sanitizing, it shouldn't go directly onto skin. So where is it sterilizing? Hmm. Is it going into a chamber, sterilizing, and then coming out? Or is it like trying to sterilize on your face? Which, is, which would be can be good. dangerous. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Charge it wirelessly. It's only a concept at this stage. Yeah, it's still a concept. Viewsonic. Uh, all right, just small monitors. 
I have seen the V Sonic ones, but if you look at that picture, it's the guard, which is more interesting. The guard. What's the guard? The privacy guard. Look at those humongous things going coming out of the screen. Oh, that. Those big wings on the screen coming out. Yeah. Oh. So if you could see, the screen is like inside. And then that oh, yes, frame yes. is on the outside. It's like a privacy guard. Well, I guess it's to. I guess it's helpful if you're at work and you're you're kind of budging and you know and. <laughs> yeah. And so no but one then can it's see. an 8K. Like really? Yeah, it looks a if bit. If you're small. at work, you wouldn't really have. You wouldn't really need to have 8K. Because <laughs> you. You'd be handling like spreadsheets or like yeah, doing yeah, a lot of processing. Yeah. You don't really need an 8K display. Yeah. But remember, a lot of people is doing home office now. <laughs> maybe working from home. Yeah. So maybe it doubles as your entertainment screen as well. Yeah, the like one that this either. would probably would work with is more of the photo editing. Well, yeah, it says it's designed for photographers who need a high quality workstation. So. Yeah, so yes, that's the yeah. correct idea yeah. of those ones. Drone. Epic. Yeah, okay. so many drones this year. So many drones. Refrigerator. Interview. From LG, yeah. Like. Oh, it sanitizes your drink. Okay. Sanitize your drink? What the heck? <laughs> uh, sanitizing drinks isn't completely new. They've actually recently looked at the UV sanitizing water bowl from Ampere. Hmm. So it's not exactly new technology, AK. but there's more of them now. Oh yeah, we talked about AK. this one, the AK. I'm, I'm interested uh, in 3D printed food. <laughs> 3D printers. 3D printed food. Oh, 3D printed food. I think I've seen them before, but I haven't really uh, tried a 3D printed food. Uh, they exist in Japan. Okay. Samsung solar powered TV remote. Yeah, from but oh, from what me. I heard, those the food and it, it tastes kind of like tofu. Tofu. From what I heard. <laughs> wow, sixteen thousand oh. dollar bathtub. Yeah. Light, fog, and aroma therapy to create a spa-like experience at home. Yep, a lot of the things which I haven't have looked at in my tops. <laughs> Touchless video, doorbell, high tech hair dryer. Yep, everything under the sun again. It's like, oh, there are know. so much stuff that you Smart can't really look at door. every single thing. Well, we're almost at the end of this article. Totally guard and dual smart locks. What? Yep, smart but locks. as well, this is only the top ones. Yeah, yeah, top picks. Top picks. Ooh, you want to get this, don't you? The next gen gaming chair. I actually did Raven. mention that. It, the, oh, this is their next gen generation. They did have a Scorpion type one where they have a big backing. Oh, wow. This is very cool. This is like a tra transparent o OLED screen. <laughs> yep. So that one might be quite expensive, though. But we will see. <laughs> yeah, looks very, very next gen. <clears throat> uh, but if you're doing gaming, you usually don't want it to be transparent. That's what, you what I'm thinking. You don't want this. To... Oh yeah, because then you can get distracting. Like, isn't no, it? no, you got the most tech in out of all. That's right. It's in me. Probably. You got the virtual. You got. P switch you got PS4 and now 5 yep I have the PS5 I have the Xbox Series X as well well that's why everything. that's why we call him the tech ex tech expert John Ray tech yep which is going on my channel <laughs> yeah uh what's this uh total touchless <laughs> bathroom tech <laughs> <With bathroom. laughs> thinking about under the sun is like why would you want to go into the toilet well, apparently this analyzes your personal 
uh, waste, and then makes recommendations. Oh, wow. That's a bit going a bit far. Shower head. Okay. Uh, Jesus router. router. Yeah, router. Jesus has made it three times on this list. Yeah. Sony. Sony Pride to the LVP. And that's it. L'Oreal Gadget with a very long name. Yes, very long name. L'Oreal Gadget with it a mixes very long name. Lipstick range. shades together into any custom color. Well, so you that won't really have to buy a any long name. You have, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Yeah, I don't know. Saint Laurent. You have Saint Laurent Roche. Sir Monsieur. Monsieur. Powered by Persol. What the heck? Well, well, you have Saint Laurent. That's the brand, right? But then, yeah. So the product is Roche. Roche Sir Monsieur. Roche Sir Monsieur. Monsieur. Powered by, by Purcell. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay. <laughs> well, so that's CNET's uh, list. Uh, Which is pretty, still quite a long list. Pretty long list. So, so yeah, I guess we're interested to see what the viewers think. Definitely comment below this video and tell us what you think about Jono's picks, right? Whether yep. you agree we'll or disagree. We also have chapter guides in the description as well. There will be chapter guides below this video so you can jump to uh, yeah any of the picks mentioned by Jono. Yep. I guess, yeah, we're at the end of the video. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Charles and Sunny, for joining uh, tonight's Tech Talk. Yep, which and actually helps form a discussion. A lot of our videos are completely unscripted, okay. so being That's unscripted right. is right. kind of our staple. We really like to be completely unscripted. That way, it's a bit more natural. And so it doesn't have to feel like I'm um, coming up with a movie. No. Oh no, we're just kind of like, yeah, asking Jono questions. Yep, and yeah. mixed match so conversations. All right, good to see you guys. Yep, uh, thank That's you good. all for watching. Like and subscribe to this video if you liked it. Comment below for what you want us to do next. And, and see you all watching. next time. Yeah, see you all right. next time. See you. Bye. Bye.